Well, at least the jawline is fine, but look at these muscles, huh? Look at these muscles. Wouldn't it make women moist when they see it? Like, this person stole He-Man's arms. She went into World of Warcraft, found a muscular dwarf, and stole the arms from there. You know, like, this is what the artist did. Like, he was asked to draw a woman. But his lived experiences are California and Democrats. And he drew a Democrat woman in order to show his ideology to the players. And as you can see here, uh, the players don't really appreciate this very much. It's, uh, it's 2024, okay? We're sick of this shit. I'm not asking that every single female character needs to look like Stellar Blade. But can you make it something close to what your mother looks like. You know, like, seriously. I understand that maybe you have mommy issues as an artist or a developer or whatever. But, but go and hug your mom. And while you do that, look at how she looks like. Look at her facial features. You know, like artists used to do. Like, e examine the, f uh, the, the human form, right? Don't get her naked, by the way, because that's fucked up. No, just, just, like, look at her face. Look at her arms. L look at the way she looks like. And then go back to the drawing board. And draw something fucking similar. That, that actually looks not like a body type B character, right? Just, just, just like a normal average woman. But no, no, we're not going to get that. that. By the way, the reason people are upset is because we know that you hired consultants in order to do this. Like you took mission critical resources in order to help those gender studies major gorge themselves. Feed themselves. And, and the problem is that this is what they insisted. This is what they told you to draw. I, I actually speak with artists that work at these studios. They don't want to draw this shit. Okay? Like, like they themselves, when they come up with the character design, they feel pain. They feel humiliation. But it's a paycheck, right? They know it won't sell. And they're praying for maybe the environmental artist to carry. That Maybe they're praying for that... A developer somehow makes some magic and the gameplay is good and people will play it with the slop. But chances are that the same consultants that fucked up the art style, they're going to fuck up the story, aren't they? They're going to, to go through all of the people working at the company and, and, and look through the tweets to see if they tweeted for Donald Trump or if they want less taxation or if they don't like mass immigration. And if that's the case, it doesn't matter how good of an artist they are. It doesn't matter how good of a developer they are. They're going to fire their ass and instead they're going to hire more of their friends from gender studies. And, and this is why so many companies in the West are going bankrupt. And this right here is exactly how you can tell it. By the art style. That's it. It's all you need. You know, it's like seeing your neighbor losing 40 kilograms and being bald. You kind of know they have cancer. Like, it's not the fact that they're bald that's the problem. It's not the fact that they shaved their head that's the problem. It's not the fact that they lost weight. It's like all of them together, you know? Like, people can survive without hair. They can survive without weight. But you kind of know, okay, this person has cancer. It's the same with the studio. You can make a game with shit aesthetics. But it's 2024, and if I see that you are incapable of drawing an average female character at this point. Like, I'm not asking for what we see on screen, right? I'm not asking for the Red Alert. I'm not asking for the games of early 2010. Like, I, I understand, like, that that is frightening for the average American. Like, if they see this, they freak out. Like, th this is like a horror show now. Blood and gore, Americans can tolerate this way too much. Way too much. They probably think it's, oh my goodness. Uh, only a person that's into children like something like this. Disgusting. You know, G give her a stronger jawline. Give her some strong arm muscles. Like, can, can we pump her up a little bit? This is an attack on femininity, by the way. If you actually read the academic papers from the institutions, they say that this is exactly what they want. They want to abolish gender. Okay, like it's the gender abolitionist movement. But for some fucking reason, gamers... Don't want to understand. And, and I think it's bad faith. I don't think it's that difficult to get it. Like, if you have pronouns into video games now, and it's all of them at once, okay? Like, it's not something that the market wanted. And it doesn't even make sense because if you're a transgender person and you want to play a role-playing game, why wouldn't you just play a female character then? Why would you play a male character with female pronouns? It doesn't make sense, right? Like, all of this is ideological. It's not grassroots. It's not what the gamers want, right? So you got pronouns in the game. 
And if you try to remove them, they freak the fuck out. Nexus Mods is going to ban your mod if you remove the sacred pronouns. They remove male and female from the character creation screen and instead they add body type A and body type B. But the character that's body type B has her tits covered because ESRB for some reason still can recognize what is a man and what is a woman. So you have all of those things. And now you have gender ambiguous characters. Like, I'm not kidding. You take these characters and you put them into ChatGPT. ChatGPT has a function. If you pay for the one with the images, I think it's 4.0 it's called. And you show it an image and ask ChatGPT, is this a male or a female character? If it's from a video game that came out within the last two or three years, except Stellar Blade, it doesn't fucking know. It doesn't fucking know. But if you go for video games like Red Alert, like the image that I showed earlier, or you go for Mass Effect or something like that, all of a sudden ChatGPT knows. It's not that ChatGPT is the smartest thing ever, but it's like it has no reason to lie to you. It has no reason to bullshit, right? Uh, all the people on Twitter, they want to bullshit. Like, like I have seen the way they defend this because they know what they're doing. It's the removal of femininity, right? They will say, oh, you just, you just want children. You just want chill. No, I don't want children. I want like what was in the 2010, right? It's not. It's not about the. I, I mean, it's even the age as well. Like, like what? What? What is this shit? What is this shit? This is like 45. Like, if your game is targeted for young adults, if it's targeting for teenagers, which are the age of 18, yeah, I would probably expect the characters to be at least five years older than that, but no more, right? Because like you don't want kids to be playing with grandma. This is another thing that they're doing. But the removal of femininity that I was talking about. They started with an attack on masculinity, if you noticed, right? So, like, they criticized the the way men are acting, calling it toxic, tone policing, being against banter, being against the concept of rescuing the damsel, like, like all of that shit, right, that men like to do, that's bad, that's harmful. And now they're going after femininity. They do not like pretty women. Like, remember how much they freaked out just because Stellar Blade came out? That That is the current culture, and, and they're hiding... Behind the fact, oh, you're just a kumer, you just like to cook. No, I, I know what you're doing, all right? It's fucking vile and disgusting. I, I am understanding the ideology behind it. I know why you're doing what you're doing. I know where to find porn, by the way. Like, the internet is a big place. If I want to get it, I get it. I, I don't need your help. This is not about porn, right? Like, it, it's all about dropping your shitty ideology that you cling so much to and you're even cowardly to defend it you don't you don't even want to stand up and defend for what you're doing and admit why you're doing what you're doing so yeah no i i actually had high hopes for this game um but after seeing the art style chances are the game will be shit just by the art style i can tell you that the game will probably be laden with bugs it will have gameplay issues it will have ai issues it will have a lot of issues and the art style is just the symbol. It's not, it's not a you can't make a game with bad art style. I mean, you can make a game with stick figures if you want. But this tells me the type of people that are working on the game. This tells me the mindset. And the mindset is one that's anti-meritocratic. These people hate competency. They hate individuals that are good at their craft because they feel inferior when they have someone competent working in the same office as them. So this is why... I have absolutely no faith for this game whatsoever. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. I mean, when the game comes out, maybe I'm wrong. And if that happens, I, I'm, I'm willing to apologize and say, well, I guess, I guess I was wrong. But I have a feeling that's not going to be the case. Because so far, if stereotyping is wrong, why am I always so right? So let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I'll see you in the comment section. And if you like the channel, there's a link in the pinned comment. It will take you all the way to my subscribe star. As well as a link to my live stream. Yes, I live stream every single day. I talk about this nonsense. And I also interact with the chat sometimes when I'm live streaming. I'll see you guys there. Take care.